Good morning. What a beautiful morning. Just had some morning sessions. We are off outside for morning sessions shortly as well. So, uh, wanted to talk this morning about how to get handed on snacking. Probably one of the the most common things that comes up. People know what to do, but it's the stuff in between that kind of sets me back. Give me a hello if you're coming in. And I, and I get this because there's so many variables to it. There's tiredness. Good morning, Joss. How are we feeling after this morning? Um, there's so many things that come in to the snacking. There's tiredness. Hey, Teresa. Stress, which all do impact what we do. We, when we're tired, we perceive foods as more rewarding than they actually are. Hence why we then eat more. Hey, Lucy. We then eat more they're more desirable but then we're not as satisfied so we think we should eat a bit more and then it's a fighting battle feeling great love it good um and that's another thing when you feel good you might not snack as much we know that exercise can help with snacking habits as well due to its impact on hunger and dopamine and the chemical release in our brain as well there's so much into this so but one really simple way if you like almost so simple that good morning julia most of us often don't do it and we do it with every other area of our life because if you're not planning you're kind of leaving it to chance right and when you think about our health do we want to leave that to chance when we think about what we eat and how many often we eat say three four times a day that's an opportunity to change the way we feel right there we could we could have have more anti-inflammatory foods more nourishing foods that are going to make us feel better help our immune system or not that's kind of the choices that we have and every time we make these choices that's an opportunity to feel a different way now we plan everything else right we plan holidays we plan weekends we plan work we have our diary meeting but we never really plan we even plan our meals some of us but we often don't actually plan our snacks in and one thing um i know one of the ladies does it a lot jill and it doesn't always work i'm going to throw it out there now there's times where it doesn't work but that's okay it doesn't have to be perfect but if it just if you just do better more often than you didn't before, that's still progress. So if, if instead of uh, five out of seven days, you're now snacking a bit in a bit of an uncontrollable way, that's still two improvements if you were doing seven before. So what this is is quite simply, it does depend on if you are tracking calories or not. But I could go into this in a bit more detail is to just plan your snacks at the start of the day. Almost like a lunchbox, like a kid taking a lunchbox to school. Um, I had that conversation the other day, actually. I have to make a decision. Does the kids have hot dinners or lunchboxes? That's my brain going on a tangent. But it's the same thing. You have that to eat in a day. When I, and, and this came from one of the ladies saying, when I used to go into the office all the time, I used to take my lunch in, and when it was gone, it was gone. Now it's like, oh, I'll just top, pop in. Hey, Karen, I'll just pop in, have a bit more. Pop in, have a bit more. So what we're doing instead now is that she just preps and plans her lunch as if she's going away. What's in there, once it's gone, it's done, and she just has it when suits her, and she's planned her day. Today I will snack on, she writes it down, this, this, and this. And like I said, it doesn't necessarily work all the time. It's not like it's gonna solve everything, but you're starting to get a handle on it. You're starting to get a bit more planned with it, and when you have fewer choices to make, because like I said, it's not perfect, you don't have to, it doesn't, it's not going to solve all problems because, you know, we've got tiredness, we've got stress, we've got how often we exercise, all these things coming into it as well. But at the very least, it means that we have fewer decisions to make and the fewer decisions you have to make, the less willpower you have to use, which seems tend to, you'll tend to make better choices across the week. And like I said, if you make four choices a day to eat, seven times four, 28, quick maths if you can make six of them choices a little bit better than you did before then you're going to make progress week on week and that's what it's about so i hope that helps have a great day enjoy the sunshine we are outside for sessions it's going to be lovely so i'll see you soon take care